I be talking about? What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Fat Dollars, a.k.a. Mr. Tutty. Tutty, bringing you some Madden 18 tips out of the 3-4 I. The Shelton brothers wanted me to add the 3-4 I into his custom playbooks on what to do in first and second and third down situations. So we right back in the New England Patriots. And this play right here is going to shut down the run or contain it. The biggest run that I've seen on this in four games was about six yards. So that's always a good thing. We come out as the base play in the edge blitz. 3-4 odd. Now in my audibles, as you can see, we come down with the lurky lurky one time for the one time. And then this is also a key. If you got any kind of uh, breakaway, make sure you do the wiggle left to right and that depletes anybody pursuit angle. Because that guy right there behind me probably had 92, 93 speed. But if you do the wiggle back and forth, just like the pros do, it'll take away the pursuit angle. Like I said, 3-4 odd. The edge blitz three. That is my base defense. Now, what I do is I like to put one of my cornerbacks in a cloud. You can see that on the left of screen. But on this play right here, I didn't hard flat my left of screen linebacker. So you're going to see what was open in this play. I put him in the cloud flat instead of a hard flat. Now he's playing over the top of the only open receiver. The pressure is getting that to the quarterback. That's what it's all about. But you got to make adjustments. Now, on the next play, second and three, I'm going to take away the route that was open in that play. Now look at the adjustments. Look at the screen. I got a hard flat right there. I still got my claw flat playing over the top of him. He motions the guy right there. That was an opening. The only thing open. Now I'm going to have people playing underneath that route. It's my job to play the middle of the field. And that's exactly what I do right there. And we come down with another pick. Now how you crash your line, either crashing them out or crashing them Opposite of where the running back is at is all about the situation. But other than that, the defense is 100% legit. You always got pressure going on the cornerback. You can cloud the left cornerback or the right cornerback, and it's up to you to play the middle of the field. Now, they won't have enough time for the one-play touchdowns with the deep blue, but if it is a third and 19, second and 22, that's when you would go into your uh, audibles, and then you got the Tampa in that. You can see everything locked down. He was looking for a deep bomb all the way down the middle, and we had that deep blue in. I go into the Tampa. Now, I know it's a passing situation. You always got to watch out for the run. The run is so OP. Now, right here, we're going to dial up a fourth and 10 blitz out of the Tampa, and I flip the play. I got the blitzer angle on the right of screen. Look off to the right of screen. He does not know what's happening. He actually play action and took that running back out for a route, and I was able to get in there with a fast looping blitz. Like I said, the setup to that Tampa 2 blitz is flip the play, base a line, Take your line, shift them toward the uh, blitz and angle, and then crash out. That will give you an opening. Now, right here, you can see we didn't have too many people in the area over there, but because I crashed out on a running situation, we were able to get a whole bunch of people in the area and lock down the run for only a two-yard gain. Now, pay attention to that play right there. Go back and rewatch it, pause it, rewind it, do whatever you got to do. The reason why that was open is because I didn't have a cloud on that play. I put the cloud on the opposite side of the field. It's all about adjustments. This defense is so good because you only got to do one or two key things. Now, look. I'm right back in my Tampa, so I'm going to take away the only opening that he did have. He was successful one time, I'm going to make it hard for him. Now he's going to have to, that's going to be his first read or his first look, I'm going to take that away. He got drags underneath, I'm taking that away with my user, and then look, I go down for about a half a second and I cover the only other opening he could possibly have. He can do. He could have threw it to the drag and got a two or three yard pickup, but I didn't care about that. I know that he was going for something deep, so it was my job to be very smart in the head and play deep back because he's down 14 to 0 they're going to be looking for anything 15 to 20 yards down the field they're not going to go for two yard dump offs two yard dump offs when your defense has been containing them so good all game now i'm showing you this because now you know exactly what to do in your game situations big hit i don't know how that turned into a catch instead of a regular fumble that went the other way but i take it fourth and five this is a key fourth and five when you get in a situation and you got a key fourth and five coming up or the game is on the line is tied up this is what you do he has the pass if you got a one uh, possession lead three point lead i did my same adjustments i flipped the play base a line shift my line toward the blitzer angle and i am lurking underneath he has to scramble. We got enough people in the area. I just sent everybody. Just click the right stick in. Sent everybody. He came up short. We got the dub. Let's go. Patreons and Shelton Brothers be looking for the 3-4 setups. I got y'all.